Hey, Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome back. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And if you uh, get offended by dirty talk, just find your way out of the read. I did talk a little dirty. So come again another day. If you'd like to book a read with me, you could go to the description box below. All my services are over on my website, rootsandrewards.com, and socials are below. Don't forget to smash that like button, share, and comment. It helps me uh, get pushed back into the algorithm. All right. So welcome back. My earth sign. Oh, we got somebody flying in. All right. All right. So you guys are dealing with some uh, wounds. Feeling a little bit wounded or feeling victim of your circumstance. Hope you guys like my hair. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, all right. <clears throat> so you're coming out of this energy. You're coming out of feeling uh, like the wounded warrior. So that's good to see. I also noticed the, the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling. Uh, so there is some heartbreak and sadness that you guys are coming out of. I hope it looks good. Uh, I hope the uh, the audio sounds good. I'm getting new equipment for you guys. I just got this new ring light with this tripod stand, so it's more even lighting for you guys. Uh, I'm waiting on an adapter for my mic, so the audio should be better uh, next week or the week after. But anyway, what's going on with my uh, earth signs? You don't have to be an earth sign for this read to resonate with you. If it found you, it just may be for you. No, that rules can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. All right, so what's going on with my earth signs as far as their love relationship in the next week or so? Oh, spitting it out. Spitting it out. Oh, geez. Ah. You guys have been going through it. Your birthday could be December 23rd. It's 12, 20, 23 on the clock. You guys have been dealing with a thief in the night. Somebody that really doesn't communicate clearly, uh, does deceitful things, lying, cheating, stealing. No wonder why you feel freaking like a wounded warrior. You're, you know, you're ready for battle. You're guarding yourself. This person put multiple swords in your back, made you feel rejected. Um, you guys have been in a lot of mental conflict with this person. This person is a master manipulator. They have control issues. You could have been dealing with a narcissist or someone that has narcissistic tendencies. There's that three of swords. This person could have put you in a third party situation or just hurt you. Really hurt you with their, their manipulative ways, their control issues. All right. So you're healing from this uh, thief. This person that, that uh, took your joy away. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. All right, yeah, you're coming out of a partnership. You could have been married to this person, long-term partnership. There's no investment with this person. This person doesn't show any um, prosperity. This person put you up on your head. They took, this person possibly took away your stability and security. There's going to be some type of communication that's charging in here with this person. Could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Wow. All right. What's up with the earth signs and this sneaky motherfucker? It's this thief here making a judgment call and this thief in the night. Make a judgment call to not allow this person to come into you anymore. It's a wrap. Even if you have uh, children with this person, you're like, no, nope. I'm no longer going to invest. I'm no longer going to lay down to your fuckery. All right. Yeah, you're moving away. You're choosing you. You know that you're the Empress, Cancer, Taurus energy. You're the Empress. You have all the tools that you need to move forward to have a happy life for yourself. 
You don't have to deal with thieves. thieves. You don't have to deal with low frequency people. You're moving away from it. You're moving away from the manipulation. You're going towards your passions and your creativity and, and becoming more passionate um, for yourself. You're going after a person that is a true, true soulmate to you. Cancer energy. Somebody that shares their emotions with you. Evenly reciprocating with you. Not drowning you. Not keeping you on hold. Not gaslighting you. This person was doing all these things to you. But there's a soulmate here for you. A new passionate beginning with someone that actually you get along with very nicely that has love energy for you this communication is coming in this passionate communication is coming in who's this soulmate that's coming in soulmate rushing in in the next eight days eight weeks i'm getting that heavy there's a lot of movement towards a water sign cancer pisces scorpio this person's very sensitive they're very compassionate to your needs they like to you know they like to discuss how your day was and how you were feeling throughout the day this person puts effort in i think you're going to feel really good with this person you're going to feel very smug in your energy this person that you were dealing with they felt very smug with you uh you cared for them you were sensitive to them you poured into them and they just, uh, they sat there very cocky and feeling uh, entitled to your energy. They're no longer entitled to your energy. Nope, you're going hermit. You're going in an introspection. You're cloaking yourself. You're taking time away, Virgo. Taking time away from this uh, person that's very smug, that doesn't want to move, doesn't want to give enough. And you're valuing you. You're getting your pentacles. You're sitting, respecting yourself, keeping yourself in high regard. And that's why you have this soulmate coming in to cherish you, to give to you, to uplift you. Who's this person that's coming in? See? Person that wants to commit, a person that is wiser, person that, you know, gives uh, wise counsel. This person could be involved in the community. They could research philosophy, psychology. This person has very good communication skills. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Very intellectual person. Spiritually guided. What's this person coming in to tell you for the, the earth signs? What is this person wanting to tell you? Someone may have a receding hairline. Three of cups. Wanting celebrations with you. This person could be understanding. If, you, if this was a third party situation, this person's understanding of that. They may have been in a third party uh, situation themselves in the past. So they're wise about dealing with multiple energies. But they come in to want to like celebrate with you, hang out with you, take you out, mingle, network with you. What is this person wanting from the earth signs? They see you as very... Sorry guys, my storage ran out. I'm starting to do these reads on my phone again because the quality is better than the laptop what I was saying is this person sees you as very caring very secure in your energy and holding to your value uh, someone wants to get unstuck Pisces energy so you're getting out of this situation with this person and there's there's people that are coming in um, to love you correctly and help you overcome these challenges that you've been having let's see what is this person coming in to give to you what is this new person coming in to give to you 
Ace of Pentacles, see, cherishing you. Loving on you correctly. Yeah, taking, taking immediate action towards maybe this person's bringing you gifts. They're showing a lot of investment in you. A lot of investment as you walk away from this other person that you, uh, you had a lot of tower moments with Scorpio Aries energy. A lot of... Uh, a lot of drama with this person. You're overwhelmed in emotions at one point. And you probably have tried to walk away eight or more times. Your person could have a birth date the eighth month or eight days or the eighth of the month. That's been coming out. The fire sign read also. You're going to get out of your head. You're not going to be trapped and bound in your thoughts anymore about this person. Oh, you're voyaging off. You may be waiting on some money to come in too. You're seeing that you're able to stand on your own, to be independent without this person. You're investing in you and you're transforming yourself. A lot of you guys have dark hair and dark eyes. Four of Cups, yeah, it's it's bored, boredom. It's, you know, you're not satisfied. You're not satisfied with the person that keeps throwing you out the burning building and making drama and chaos for you and fighting. You're not at peace with this person. Well, this new person that's coming in to commit to you, you're going to feel very peaceful with this person. You got the Ten of Cups and you got the Hierophant. So this is a higher level of commitment. This is a spiritual connection, soul uh, soul connection that's really going to be very special for, for you guys. You're going to share a lot of intimate moments, sunrises, and you're going to see a rainbow in the sky. Uh, you are a little bit guarded here, but you know, you're keeping yourself safe, right? Safe and protected, guarding, and um, protecting. You know, you're protecting your peace, you're protecting yourself. All right, so the Four of Cups the tower yeah you're charging away charging away from these tough times enough is enough you may have a dog that looks like a wolf justice and balance justice is yours you could be dealing with a libra You've got a lot of good shit coming in earth signs your person may be bold you may have long brown hair almost black jet black hair What's coming in for the air, the earth signs? Air, air sign you may be dealing with. Eight of swords, yeah. You feeling blindfolded. You feeling like you were pulled in many different directions. Some of you guys have been going to counseling or seeking higher counsel to try to get out of this uh, relationship. Some of you guys are um, working with the courts. Maybe there's... Um, um, when you like divorce proceedings, um, like a mediator, you may be dealing with the mediator with this person. That's going to calm your mind down a little bit about them. Continue to protect, but you're not going to be at a crossroads anymore. A decision's being made. You being independent, you living your best life without this person because you have new emotional beginning. You're, you're moving towards investing in you. Filling your cups up to make sure that you are happy within your own energy. Keeping your eye on yourself. <clears throat> All right. Very nice. All right. So let's see what this past person wants to say that they're unable to say. This is my Love Me, Love Me Not Twin Flame deck. It's available on my website. For Valentine's Day, these um, Sexy Time uh, Oracle deck is 15% off if you're interested in that one. What would the past person like to say that they're unable to say? I love you. Come on. Yeah, they may, may, they may love you, but they sure as hell, uh, they're, they're not showing it the correct way. 
I let my ego get in the way. Yeah, they were going outside of themselves for val validation of other people, places, and things. They're cocky, you know. Remember I said they're, they're smug in their energy. They love themselves. They love themselves. I don't want to see you with someone else too fucking dead. So this person, again, it's manipulation. They're going to tell you, I love you. I don't want to see you to, you to be with anybody else. But yet, they ain't doing shit to keep you around. They're not feeding into you. Please don't reach out. All right, so don't reach out to this person. They don't deserve you. Uh, they're saying, keep the faith. No. No. There is no keeping the faith in this. Use your discernment, guys. But I just don't feel like this past person... They ain't shit. What else would this person like to say? That we're not meant for each other. Right. There you go. So, they're, they're just coming back with an apology. Trying to stroke you a little bit. Uh, just for self-gratification. Just to feed their ego. Knowing that they, can get, they could get you like that. They could have you like that. It was time for us to part. Yeah. It's time for you to part with this person. And I think you guys know that. It's okay. Some people, you know, it's a season. You gotta let it go. Now, your new person that's coming on in, sexy time. It's also a twin flame inspired deck. If anybody's interested, every other card's black and white. I designed them with my girlfriend. All right, sexy time. What does this person want to do to you sexually and emotionally, this new person? time all right so they're like a cuddle cuddly teddy bear i'm scared of intimacy all right that may be you somebody's scared of intimacy because of the the past trauma the past trauma um they may want to go into it slowly maybe this starts as a friendship you just cuddle and hug and not really anything too sexual too quickly Get, you give the best head. All right, so it's going to go pretty fast with this person. The friend zone, you're not going to be staying in the friend zone very long. You're giving them real good head. They're giving you really good head. Um, someone's bisexual. Somebody likes both sexes. So there's a little bit of a spicy energy here. You float both ways. All right. This, this could be a twin flame that is coming into you. Um, if you don't resonate with twin flame, this is just a balanced, healthy connection of masculine and feminine energy coming together. Let's see, what else? You make me so hard, so. They're very, very attracted to you, so there's no question about that. They are sexually attracted to you, even though they may not come in very sexual for you. They're coming in light and bright. They're going to be nibbling on your neck. All right. I like it with the lights off. So this came up in the fire sign, right? So you may be connected with the fire sign. Someone's going to be dimming the lights for you guys, making it all romantic because they feel like this is a soulful connection. Like I said, this is a soulmate for you. So this connection is going to be very easy. Somebody may have a bacterial infection also. I just got that hit. Bend over and touch your toes. So they want to see. They want to see you bend. They like how flexible you are. They want your ass way up in the air. <laughs> Alright. So they're, they're getting little peaks of your booty. Getting a little peak of that. Whip me. Yeah, so they can whip your ass right into shape. Mmm. All right, let's do individual art sign. Just mini reads. You got clarity coming in. You got truth being spoken, honesty being spoken, and you cutting through the shit. You cutting off anybody that doesn't serve your higher purpose. I like it. Coming out of indecision. No longer having that mask over your eyes. You're seeing very fucking clearly. Let's start with uh, Taurus. Taurus, what's coming in as far as your partnerships? What's your 
Taurus energy, what's coming in. Taurus, you may have a, a younger earth sign that's coming in, or this is you. Someone's coming in to give you a little something, something. They're leaping in towards you, light and fluffy, lighthearted energy, Aries, Aquarius energy. Ooh, but there's a lot of wish fulfillment here. There's a lot of good times. You're gonna feel very, very good in your uh, your home life here. All right, so you may be taking some walks around the lake, seeing some ducks. Could be an introspection right now. You could um, could be dealing with a Virgo. All right, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Someone's isolating right now. Um, or you're needing to take some time out before this person you know, trickles their way into you. Taurus energy. All right, so that your path is being lit lit up. There's uh, healing that's being done here. Maybe you're pouring out, here you, you guys are pouring out some heartbreak and sadness. Some wounds from the past. You're needing to let them go. You're leaping away from heartbreak, like I said at the beginning of the read. Leaping away from heartbreak, going towards your 10 of cups, possibly with a Capricorn. There's somebody very heavily attracted to you, very lustful for you. So there you go. They want to get in your bed. They want to. They want to move in. Hermit. What's the hermit? Hermit. See, this person may be hidden from you. You may not know this person just yet, but they come in. Cancer, moving uh, very quickly after cloaking. This is an emperor, also very mature individual. Maybe business owner. They could have kids could be Hindi or Buddhist. All right, so you're leaping towards connections that only bring in balance, that are evenly reciprocated to you. You refuse to give too much to people that don't appreciate you. You refuse to deal with any toxicity, people with addictions, people with manipulation, narcissistic tendencies. No, yeah, you're going you're keeping your eye on your prize. You want a balanced connection that feels good to you. And that's that's what you're gonna get. You're moving towards your justice. You're moving towards claiming whatever you're looking to claim here. This person that's coming in, this Capricorn, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they come in to feed into you. Taurus, so what's the outcome for Taurus and this emperor? So it's not yet seen remember to use your intuition and understand that you don't have to bend over backwards for people try not to be a people pleaser yeah stand in your power empress so this person is going to treat you as the empress you may want to get pregnant you may be you know you're very motherly you may have children yourself you could have red hair could be yeah you're a Taurus there you are there you are, Taurus. So you're looking really good. You you got all the goods. Outcome is you got all the goods to stay in your power and you're gonna claim victory. You're gonna be prioritized by this person. Seeing, uh, being seen in a really nice way. You're gonna have a lot of compliments. A lot of people wanting to socialize with you and praise you for a job well done or how you look. And your bag is gonna start looking much better. There's investment, there's um, maybe even a, a marriage that's coming in. You could be starting something new financially, or this person brings in money. They're abundant. Yeah, hell yeah, they're abundant. Look at this. Fortune, abundance. It's coming in. Possibly the next eight, eight months, eight weeks, your uh, finances are going to look really really stable, really secure. All right, so Capricorn, what's up with Capricorn? Capricorn, you're coming out of uh, feeling wounded. Uh, you're needing to rest up. You're needing to rejuvenate your energy, take time out to rest. What's Capricorn's needing here for the higher good with their partnerships in the next week or so? All right, Capricorn, hell yeah. Same energy, Capricorn. You got mad options. You got up to seven options coming in. Wanting to shower you with gifts and flowers and roses. There's investment. Money's looking really good. 
These options are going to make you feel very abundant. They're shining light on you. The light is being, the light is shining down on you. There's a healthy, happy partnership here, possible twin flame for you. Wow. This is someone that's ready to go hardcore with you. This is also marriage here. Somebody wants to give you everything that they got. They got a lot of things. This person has a lot of abundance behind them. They're coming in for you. Capricorn, what's coming in for Capricorn? Capricorn, you're a little stuffy. You're a little stiff. You're a little icy. All right, you're a little icy. You're like, bitch, come at me correctly or off with your fucking head. Like you're cutting through the shit. You're using your intuition and you're setting your boundaries. So you have your boundaries set. So that's really good. Uh, you could have air, air in your uh, placement in your birth placement, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. These options, what's up with these options? Options, yeah, there you go. The eights again, eights are sticking out. Um, judgment call on your money. You could be making a judgment call to um, add new services, um, take another opportunity, job opportunity. Judgment call to save your money, maybe. Maybe you're trying to save your money for a big purchase. Let's see what eights mean. Eights. Ah, maybe you needed to get the Satisfier Pro Penguin next generation. I gotta put that on my <laughs> my wish list. It's a suction vibrator. I haven't used this phone in a minute, but you guys told me I need to get this bad boy, so. <laughs> your mouth's gonna be watering. All right, there's suction on this bad boy. All right, <laughs> off topic. All right, so somebody wants to tickle your clit. All right, I got you. I got you. All right, angel number eight. Let's see what that's about, because it's been in both reads this week so far. Angel eight, meaning. <laughs> All right. Very spirit. Eight is a very spiritual number. A positive mindset and mental stability. Oh, yeah. All right. So you're going to feel really good mentally. That confusion, it's lifting, like I said. This partnership, Four of Wands. What's this partnership? Oh, shit. You're going to feel love the fuck up, Capricorn. You're being praised. You're being recognized also here. And there you go with your mental stress. Your mental conflict is, is ending. It's in reverse. So this person, you're really going to like what they have to give to you. This person may be well recognized also. This person could be celebrity or known in the community. Very nice. You could be from Russia, Dubai. Eight of Wands. It's coming in for Capricorn. This could be a Pisces energy. This person may be hiding away a little bit right now. You're making a judgment call to not stress about past and not get in your head and overanalyze situations that you don't really need to. You're not stressing, you're not gonna stress your, your, yourself about money or you know working too hard. Um, Ace of Cups and Four of Wands for Capricorn. This Emperor, this Aries charging in I want to communicate with you I have all that you need this person could be in construction architects um, also a father figure could have children or very fatherly um, this person is a provider they could be a little arrogant sometimes or egotistical they know they know their value um, but they can come off rambunctious or boastful they want to talk This is a heavy energy. They got, they influence people around them. They influence others. All right, what's the outcome for Capricorn? It's feeling good. <laughs> outcome is somebody's gonna be tickling your clit or rubbing up on that wand. Coming on in, Gemini energy. This person will uplift you. Um, they also may be um, Egyptian or. Uh, from Iran or 
some are middle, they could be middle eastern. Mm, they're a tough cookie. They're muscular too. They got a nice upper body. Mm. Mm. You're not going to be indecisive about this person. They feel like you just the hottest thing that they have ever seen. Hot stuff. You are just you are something else. They love how you are passionate and you take care of yourself. You make sure you look good, you smell good, you taste good. You're probably eating like pineapples and strawberries to make sure your cum tastes good and shit. Oh shit, they want sexy sign. This bird's oh shit, yeah, they want oh shit, they want, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they want their wand stroke. There you go. Could be a, a younger fire sign, Leo Aries Sag. Uh, this person's gonna creep their way in and uh, show you how emotionally balanced they are for you and how passionate and obsessed and they just want to get a hold of your ass. This person just wants to get in the steam room with you and the sauna with you and just have like hot, passionate sex with you and just balance it and just make you feel damn good. So you could be dealing with a fellow Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oof. Have fun with that. I'll claim that shit. Where you at? Alright. Who we got now? Virgo. Virgo. Oh, jeez. Virgo, what's up? What's up? Alright. You're, you're ending. You're, you're putting an end to the heartbreak. It's time. Uh, this person that you're dealing with, it's a dead-end situation. You need to end it. Could be a Leo that you're dealing with, you're gaining your strength up, you're gaining your courage to fucking walk away from this possible Scorpio energy. All right, Virgo, what's up? I think you guys are going into a very social time. You're gonna get very excited about these opportunities and people that are gonna start surrounding you. Like, all sorts of people are gonna be surrounding you. Wow. Virgo, this thief in the night has nothing to bring you besides heartbreak and sadness and backstabbing. Virgo, that hurt is not going away. So you guys are you're sitting in a little bit of shit right now. Maybe a little bit of a shit show for you. Virgo, what's up, Virgo? Yeah, you're defensive. You're needing to protect and guard your energy here. Um, maybe you're worried about the naysayers and a lot of people talking and gossiping about you and you just needed to stand your ground. Um, you're not satisfied with what's going on, uh, with the offer that's being given to you. Virgo, what's going on? I'm Virgo. I see that, you know, you're trying to value yourself. You're, you're trying to prioritize yourself here, but it's very hard for you to get out of your head and, um, see clearly, uh, with this person. This person throws you in your head. They throw a lot of illusions. Uh, just know that you aren't stuck. You aren't stuck here. You are the star and you're needing to pour out these heavy emotions that you're having. Could be Aquarius. Pouring out this hurt. You gotta get rid of this. You guys are really sitting in a depression right now, I feel. Very heavy. <laughs> Could be getting sick, maybe a little stuffy. Yeah, Virgo. It's just, there's a sly fox. You don't need to be around the sly foxes. Getting a headache now. So, uh -uh. financially, this may be affecting you financially. You're not able to pay your bills. You're upside down in your head. You're not caring for yourself, Virgo. You're not caring for yourself because of this uh, immature energy in and out. This person is in and out with you. They come in, they you pet the wand, and then they get the fuck out. Star card, what's going on with uh, Virgo? Yeah, this person knocks you down. They're sabotage. You're sabotaging yourself at this point. Financially, there's, there's no investment. There's rats around your money. Maybe you're struggling just financially. But I feel like there's people that are draining your finances here. <sighs> the 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very harsh with you, very cutting. They backstab you. They um, talk shit about you. You need to walk away from this person. They're doing nothing but draining you, draining your funds, draining your care and time. Just, you know, it's time to walk away from the spilt milk with this person. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to get out of your energy because it's heavy. What's the outcome for Virgo? Oh, I was toxic. <sighs> the outcome is you need to put yourself upright. You're the motherfucking empress, Virgo. You needed to see that you have everything that you need to move forward, that you don't need to deal with toxic people, controlling people, narcissistic people. So it looks like you're gonna be flipping yourself upright and taking away the negativity from your life. Taurus, Capricorn energy, holding back and being greedy with your time and attention and your funds and going after a very um, peaceful, harmonious connection with someone else. See, a new passionate beginning somewhere else, but this is off in the distance. You need your time to heal. You've gone through a lot of shit, so it's, it's, it's delayed, but that's not to say that you're not gonna have a good time and network with people and celebrate with people, because you are. All right, and that's what I got for you. Energies that you could be dealing with. Air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Capricorn, 25 and 19, September 1st, January 9th, February 5th, May, May 5th, May 2nd. Two of Cups is on the bottom of this deck here, so there's soulmates for you guys, someone that understands you, that's going to feed into you, that makes you feel really nice. And uh, let's see, uh, my Visionary Movements Mindfulness Networking Group, if you're having a hard time, guys, sign up for it. It's every week at, on Wednesday night, 7 to 9 p.m. It's a Zoom call with me and the Roots and Rewards community. We do topics of discussion. Last week was... Uh, expectations of others and expectations that we place on ourselves we do meditation affirmation card pull so it's a nice way to find support it's already five weeks in and I already see improvement in the people that have been with me so think about it go under services and bookings if you're interested or just message me and I'll guide you. It's ten dollars a week. All right. Your hard work is paying off, Capricorn. Earth sign. Your hard work is paying off. There's adjustments that are required, so you may have to change or tweak what you're doing, your perspective. But a new romantic cycle is beginning. It's coming in, uh, possibly with a Libra, and take time take time to breathe out so take some time before rushing into this relationship with this person ease into it make sure that you're healing from the past issues and self-care how you can get to feel better in your energy all right so it's time to flow like water taking your time easing into things don't take things too seriously spend time with friends and family there may be a mother or a sister or daughter that's needing your love energy and plan a vacation maybe you're planning on it on a vacation or you're needing to plan a vacation or a day trip getting out of your mundane uh, and soak in a bath make yourself a romantic bath tonight treat yourself nice romance yourself if you have nobody romancing you and that's all I got I hope you enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation I do have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link below if you'd like to purchase something for the channel, it's much appreciated. Um, if you're unable to donate financially, uh, simply put your little heart emojis, give me some feedback, leave your zodiac signs, and uh, yeah, 
Throw me back into that algorithm. Follow me on TikTok every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time for your collective love reads. Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Over there, everything's in the description box below. Make sure you're following me on all outlets. That way I could pull on your energy a little bit easier. And that's all I got. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's and week. And I will see you again soon. Water signs up next. Keep yourself in high regard, guys.